Holes with scotch and gin. Oh, yeah. You'll be happy that you do. Yeah. Now let's bake some pumpkin bread. No. Hey. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Um, Did I catch you practicing musical improv? I like your moves. Caught me. Um, that one was just a warm up. <laughs> As you can see, I am rehearsing some of our holiday sketch material. Um, all right, wait, this one came to me this morning. It actually woke me up from a dead sleep. <clears throat> I saw DeSantis kissing Trump again. In Mar-a-Lago's golf course last night. Um, I think the rhythm is off, but I do love this idea. A tragic romance. It explains so much about the past two years. It came to me in a vision. Oh. I'd rather a nightmare. But uh, yeah, I'll, you know, I'm going to work on a second verse and I'll bring that one back to you. Um, I just uh, thought of this one after our last meeting. Um, it was inspired uh, by my trip to New York. Uh, so many feels. <clears throat> me, 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 me. You better save up. You better sing out. You better be happy. I'm telling you why Broadway has reopened once again. You better get fit, you better compost, you better be chill, I'm telling you why Broadway has reopened once again. See, it goes with anything, right? I'll just work on a little choreography. Yeah, yeah but that compost, I, I mean, we all are exuberant about the return of Broadway. And I love organic gardening, but compost on Broadway? Hmm. I mean, I, I like the energy, and I think it could be super fun choreography. <laughs> uh, thank you. I um, I'll, I'll put that on the back burner for now, but I'm gonna work on it. Um, okay, this one is super relatable. It's inspired by my Thanksgiving dinner. <clears throat> I'm dreaming of a catered dinner where everyone gets along. No speaking politics, only spoon licks. Then everyone ubers home. Me, I had the exact same wish this year. Flesh that one out some more. It definitely has potential. Thank you. Even Sandra likes it. Um, wait, I just want to run one more by you while we have time, please. Hold on. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll be traveling for New Year's. You can count on that. Please have sun and good bourbon and presents just for me. I'll be traveling for New Year's. Would you like to go? to some museums, then post some memes. But first, booster shots. Bravo! <laughs> That's the one. 
<laughs> All right. Um, we're still doing happy hour this Friday, right? You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> Finny. <laughs> Next. Yes, Your Honor, my name is Jasmine Santiago. I'm applying for- Speak up! I can't hear you. Shout if you have to. Oh no, I better not shout. Well, don't pout. <clears throat> but I'll try to talk louder. Your Honor, my name is Jasmine Santiago. I'm applying for a restraining order against A1. Mr. Nicholas Claus. And why do you need a restraining order against Mr. Claus? Well, Your Honor, I believe he's stalking me. He's stalking you. So what has he done? He watches me sleep at night. How do you know that if you're sleeping? I just, I know. He sees me when I'm sleeping. Okay. What else concerns you about Mr. Claus's behavior? He watches me all day too. So he's just always watching you. Is he watching you now, Miss Santiago? Probably. He knows when I'm awake. How else would he know if I've been bad or good? Oh, for goodness sake. Exactly. Miss Santiago. Are you seeking a restraining order against Santa? Yes, your honor. You've heard the song. Mr. Nicholas Santa Claus is a threat. Case dismissed. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> wrong if i get asked to make one more barbie doll um but, but barbies are like real people now all different shapes and sizes so what who cares about dolls well lots of girls and boys play with them i don't care about dolls they don't actually do anything i want to assemble kits to build rockets and eco-friendly homes and <gasps> so do it get yourself on the toy construction team the elves on that team say i can't oh yeah they can be real dwarves about letting girls into their little no girls allowed that's ridiculous flamer hey those are the rules deal with it if you don't like them, don't break them. But what about the big guy, though? Santa, you know, he zones out the day after the big day, you know, while we keep slogging. Christmas is only 364 days away. Yeah, but I'm sure if you talk to them, then he, you know, he, he, he ignored me. 
practiced ho ho hoing in front of the mirror. Really? Wow. We got to do something to get his attention. Only thing he'd notice is if we stop production. You want to stop production? But we've only got. I know. 364 days. No, no, no. We've only got one precedent for that. Back in 1989, when we elves started getting paid, we had to strike to get what we wanted. It, it didn't take long. Mrs. Claus just stopped baking butterscotch mint cookies. That got his attention. Started paying right away. Except male elves got more because they make all the little tiny moving parts. We all have small moving parts. We should all get paid the same. But I don't want to make dolls anymore. Connect or rector sets. Oh no, those are fun. Those are our first two demands right there. Equal pay and less girly girl stuff. I like the way you think. Any more demands? Yeah, no more thin elven boots in the snow. I want some mucklucks. And an elven business suit. I mean, these leggings aren't flattering. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey. They look fabulous. I mean, professional. They are not professional. Okay, professional clothes. Yeah. And no telling us how to feel. Sometimes I'm just going to be in a crappy mood. I'm always in a crappy mood. Huh? But, but the kids. Oh, kids these days know how to handle it. Ha -ha, they know all about crappy moods. You know, I just can't believe your language. Flamer usually says worse and nobody bats. Yes, but Flamer is half gnome. And he's rarely seen in public. <laughs> Fact is, female elves. Wait, you're not actually an elf, are you? You're, you're really tall. <laughs> no, dear. I'm actually Mrs. Claus, and I'm on it. No more post-Christmas cookies until the old guy listens. You're wondering. Why the disguise? Yeah, something like that. Well, I'm doing an unofficial survey among the elves to determine feelings about a change in upper level management. Oh, yeah? The boss is really tired of running day-to-day -day ops. Oh, sure, he loves a once a year glamorous night ride, but the rest of the time, well, he'd rather be writing his memoirs and gonna take a while oh no oh no so some grouchy old elf will take his place oh no dear i'm ready to hang up my baking mitts roll up my jacket sleeves and manage this place wow um, and and you'll let me build stuff of course, and you'll get equal pay. But who's going to do all the baking? We live on pastries. Don't look now, but old Flamer is spying on us from a soup tureen. Once he sees how brave you are about getting into construction, he might him inspire him to pursue his secret passion, devising cakes and cookies. Cookies? Cakes? Cookies and cakes! I want to bake! Get him out of my hair. You got my vote, Miss Claus. Let's go! Get the dough rolling! <laughs> I can handle this, dear. The reindeer need. Yes, I know the reindeer need to be fed magic moss three times a day. Weren't you going to start another chapter in your memoirs? 
They need their exercise too. Well, haven't you seen how splendidly fit they are? Maybe you should go talk to them and see how they're all feeling. Maybe I should. Great! See you later. Why? Why? Oh, Bolts, there you are. What's the matter? Flamer just yelled at me for nothing. Oh, he's been really mean lately. I thought he was becoming nicer, but now he's back to his old elf self. I thought he was happy making all those delicious treats. He was, but lately something's been bothering him. Mm -hmm. Who are you just talking to? Oh, the big guy. As you know, last year he decided to turn over all the day-to-day -day administration to me, but now he keeps telling me what to do. Frankly, I'm a little fed up. I just want him out of my hair. That's it! I quit! Uh, uh, oh, oh no, Flamer, you can't quit. Watch me! I told you he was acting crazy! Look, Flamer, be before you quit, on today of all days, please tell me what the matter is and maybe we can fix it. Too many parents are saying Christmas treats aren't healthy! Oh! What are they saying exactly? Sugar! They all hate sugar! Who hates sugar? Are they saying that they actually hate sugar? No. They're saying it's an epidemic of uh, stuff. Epidemic of stuff? They don't want sugar. They think it makes kids crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kramer. Don't cry. I'm not crying. <laughs> uh, I have a cookie stuck in my throat. <laughs> you know, I think what he's talking about is an epidemic of childhood obesity or ADHD. Yeah, that's that stuff. Yeah. Can elves get it? Uh oh, no, I don't think so. See, everything elves eat just makes your skin glow and keeps you young looking. Elves live a lot longer than people do. And, you know, I think it's because of all those illnesses. There's a lot of health issues with American children. Why so many? I have no idea, but the parents are blaming sugar. But you know what? You don't have to quit, Flamer. Well, if I can't bake, what good am I? You don't have to use sugar all the time. You can use the sweet from people's smiles. Hey, don't make fun of me. <laughs> he never smiles. Why don't you try to smile? See how it makes you feel. into cakes and cookies? Tell me! The sweet from telling somebody they're really special. Go ahead, try it. Tell me I'm special. You're uh, special. Uh, Flamer, you have to mean it. Now let's think of all the lovely things Bolts has done for you. Scrubbed your pots and pans when you've been too tired. And she's your sampler in chief. So you know if your baked goods are really good or just need a little tweaking. Yeah, that is kind of awesome. <laughs> You're kind of awesome, I guess. Hey, I, I feel even better. <laughs> Me too. How the elves. Had they daily toy briefing yet? Oh, if I could only get my job done in peace, that would be sweet. <laughs> hmm. What happened with writing his memoirs? Well, I, I don't know. He's writing them by hand, so... Sore hand! <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you. If you must know, the problem is, I... I can't spell. 
Well, so use a magic spell checker. Magic, magic spell checker? <laughs> it's my latest invention slash toy. It doubles as a pen or pencil, and it just corrects all your spelling mistakes. And oh. it's a pet, <laughs> so be nice to it. You can have this on one condition. What? You let me do my job. Now you get to go on your annual sexy night ride. Just let me take care of stuff at home, okay? Deal? Deal. Yahoo! See you later. I'm editing chapter 897. Have fun, dear. You know what else is sweet that you can bake into your treats, Flamer? Dummy, dummy! Teamwork! That's right! <laughs> we use teamwork to make today sweet! Mm -hmm.